All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to stick around, you might enjoy yourself. In this video, I am back in Blade and Sorcery Nomad, where we will be exploring the new U12 update. Um, it just came out, I think, four days ago, five days ago, something like that. Uh, I tried to download it four or five days ago, whenever the fuck it came out, and my Oculus headset took a shit. Um, I tried to install the update, it got to about 2.3 gigabytes out of 2.7, and it just froze. No longer continued updating. It took forever. And then it said install failed, and it was just stuck like that. So I had to factory reset my, uh, my Oculus Quest 2 um, to fix that error. Um, and I did that today, and I lost all of my data in my games. So, um, all my games like Thief Simulator and shit like that, if I re-download those to explore like a new update or something, I'll have to redo the entire game to finally like get to the new shit. Uh, if we're talking about like Thief Simulator, for example. So that sucks, but it was worth it. I was able to download the uh, U12 update. It looks great. I've seen some gameplays, uh, so we're going to explore some shit. Um, the things that I know were changed were the way the menu looks, um, the in-game like options menu. That looks a lot like cleaner and nice. Uh, there's a graphics update as well. Um, I actually hopped in just to see if that was true. The graphics do look a lot nicer for, you know, Blade and Sorcery Nomad. The colors of the spells look a lot better. There's a little bit more detail in, like, the lightning spell, I think, uh, at least from what I saw. Um, chairs, tables, shit like that can actually be broken now. Uh, so if you take a fucking chair and just crack some bitch across the face, it'll break. So that's kind of interesting. Um, there's a new look to the in-game, or in the like, uh, the home area, when you don't hop into a map, the home area, the map looks different, just some, some minor tweaks here and there, um, to make the game a little bit more organized or refreshed, uh, like the options menu over here, it looks very nice, very clean, um, but that's not the biggest part, the biggest part is this, this fucking thing right here, you see what that says? Mods. You click that, it says authenticating, and it's right here in front of you. You have an in-game mod menu. You don't have to use a PC. That is fucking awesome, dude. That is awesome. So, you, uh, you scroll through, I guess. Um, what do we want to do? Uh, um, what do I want to do? Galaxy Katana. Is that any different from the cosmic katana that I just fucked around with? Painful death sound effects. I gotta look for stuff that says U12. U12 though. Otherwise, I don't think it'll work. Easier weapon handling being fixed. Some other shit. Let's look at the most popular. Holy fuck! What is all of this? Uh, most popular. Atomic heart. Uh, I don't know. Ultimate gore mod. Stormbreaker Axe, Super Strong Lightning U12. Let's do that. Actually, let's download both of these. Captain America Shield and Stormbreaker. So you press download. It downloads right there. That's in. Press download there. That's in. So, uh, actually, let's download a map, too. Uh, no mods found. Okay, so I guess maps are not here yet. Graphics, no mods found, spells... Maybe, hello, weapons, what did I do? Did I break it? I think I broke it. Reset filters. Avatars? You know what? This mod type thing doesn't really work at the moment. It just says that there's nothing found. So, my suggestion is come in here, do popular or most downloads, and just scroll through. Because there's a pretty decent list for what's in here so far. Pirate Cutlass U12, Pirate Waves U12. Yo, let's do some Pirate Waves. Download that as well. Pirate Waves. Okay, so we have mods. I don't know what the fuck this button does. That's obviously to delete them. So let's go back. Play. Loading mods. So you press play. It says loading mods. So why the fuck is my... What is my character doing? Back up. Get out of my face. Okay. Uh, so we select character and we play. 
All right, so we're here in the home. Uh, you can't really tell in the video, I don't think, but the graphics are definitely a little bit better, and the game feels a lot smoother. So, uh, if we come over here to the book, it doesn't... How do I, uh, how do I, um... Where do I pull the mods from? Let's t let's take a look at the book. Mods. Captain America Shield. Show errors. Pirate Waves, Stormbreaker. So it says that these are my mods. How do I how do I get them? That is the question. Uh tools, no. Utilities, no. They're not down here. Blunt. I don't see it. Exotic. Stormbreaker. There we go. God damn, look at this thing. Oh, that's fucking sweet. Yo. This game feels a whole lot smoother, though. Holy shit. Me holding this thing. The look of the lightning and everything. Yeah, U12 is the way to go. Holy fuck. So, yeah. Once you download... Or, once you just... Yeah, download the mods. You don't have to, like, restart the game or restart your headset or whatever. You just launch the game and boom. Uh, what else did I get? The shield? Captain America shield. Okay, Captain America shield had an error message next to it. So it's not going to show up. Um, but the other two things did not have an error message. As you can see, I do have uh, Stormbreaker. And then we have the pirate waves when we actually hop in. So let's go use Stormbreaker and travel to the travel map. Let's... Alright. We are here. Let me grab Stormbreaker real quick and... Oh my god, yeah. The game does look a lot cleaner. Like, there's more details and, you know, color adjustments and shit like that. Also, why does this feel so much smoother to move? Yeah, U12 is nice. I like U12. Okay, so let's scroll down to... There it is. Pirates, right there. Let's do Pirates 1v1. Where the fuck they at? Let's go. Where they at? Hello? Aha! Oh, look at you! Look at how cute he is! Alright, let me bash his fucking skull in real quick. Okay, I fucking missed. Okay, so even though the mod, you know... The way you do mods in uh, U12 is just a bit different with the in-game mod menu. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna have any better of a fucking frame rate. God damn! every time I smack someone with this thing. What the fuck did I just do? Where did she go? What am I doing? Is that what happens when you smack him with the back of it? Yo, let me try it again. Holy fuck! They disappear. Okay, so... Ah! So it acts as a staff. Uh... With the, uh, the zappy, the zappy thing. Acts as a staff. You hit it into the ground, it does that. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Let me just send you to space. My bad. Okay, so yeah. Ooh, there's a pirate sword. Yo! Sweet! My bad. Alright, so let's drop that on the ground real quick. Let me change the, uh, the male-female spawn ratio to 100%. Because low-key, I ain't trying to... I'm about to do some shit to these NPCs, and I ain't trying to have any females, you know? Because I respect women. Right as I fucking send that bitch to space. Okay, let's toss Stormbreaker over there. Alright, now... I'm gonna do my daily, uh, Bleed and Sorcery ritual on you. It's nothing personal. It's, okay. It's nothing personal, buddy. It's just business. Give me the- give me your thighs. Give me your thighs. Hey, wait, 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 Hang on. Turn, turn around again. Turn around again. Buddy. Buddy. Alright. Now. You're cute as a pirate, you know what I'm saying? He's still alive? Bro, give me your hips. Stop moving. I, d d d d this is you don't I don't think you want to see this you should stop moving bro buddy fuck off where'd he go all right you fucking 
I'm taking you instead. Give me your fucking thighs, yeah. baby. Uh, 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 fucking choke slammed, bitch. Where'd he go? I died? That's my mistake. I thought I had invincibility turned on. My bad. Let me uh, pull up some pirate 1v1s again. Boom. Still got Stormbreaker. This side of Stormbreaker, me likey. Where are the fucking pirates at? Ah, oh, there you are. This part... Actually, I guess it does. I, I don't think it matters which side you hit from, because you'll send them to fucking space anyways. Oh my god. Yeah. Did you just see how high your buddy went? Let's see if we can do it again. Dude, this thing's fucking nuts! Hang on. Let me let me grip it better. About to use it as a fu wait, 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 wait. Okay, now. Hang on, hang on. Hold on, hold that thought. Yeah. Fuck off. Hold it, hold it. Stormbreaker. Four. Oh. Let's try it again. Stop. Four. Where did that guy just go? Four. Stop. Four. Glad to know that Stormbreaker just makes people fucking phase out of thin air. Matter cannot be created or destroyed my ass. Watch this. Matter just got destroyed. That guy's just fucking- that guy didn't get destroyed, he's just gone. It's alright, he'll have fun up there, I'm sure. I like Stormbreaker. All right, let's throw this thing. Bruh. Get out of here. All right, now. Yeah. Let's do some sword fights. I got this shit. I've been practicing. You ready? Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Ready? Get blocked, uh. bitch. Uh. I get a bit carried away when I play this game. This is a dangerous game for me to play. And low-key, this is the smoothest that this game has ever been on my Oculus. And that is a fact. I'm having like little to no frame rate issues. This is great. I love it. Fuck! Get blocked, bitch! I missed. Whole fuck. Do it again. Woohoo! Get blocked, bitch! Never actually had a sword fight in this game. I've usually just tried to like fuck everyone up as quickly as possible. Never actually had a sword fight in this game. Low key, I'm fucking good. Oh, did you see us? Get deaded, bitch. Let me pull an Anakin Skywalker Count Dooku encounter. Anyways, that is going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. And I will see you all in the next one. Adios.